Actually, it's 25 degrees this morning. Nice, beautiful fall morning. So anyway, I'm feeling really good right now, heading over for my blood exam, and uh, I'm gonna have, come back and have some breakfast with Jennifer. So it's a good morning, I'm excited about it. Boom, and just like that, done with the blood draw. 13, 14 vials of blood, simple. Heading back to the hotel, have some breakfast with Jennifer. It's 7.40 a.m., Monday. Walking over with the angel, feeling pretty good. Had a blood draw, now we're gonna see a couple doctors. Uh, and then we're gonna go up to the oncology room. I'm excited today, but also I'm a little bit nervous about it. I'm excited because the uh, my lambda light chains proteins had gone down to 7.53 and I'm hoping that they get down to around 6 or 5.5, that would be my goal. So it would be very disheartening if they actually went up. So I'm excited but a little bit nervous as well. All right, let's do it. So right now I'm hooked up doing the double blind study with a synthetic antibody, the OMG serum. Kevin O'Leary, uh, Elon Musk, and of course Gandhi for all the business savvy leadership and technology knowledge. So that's going good. I feel like that's working because I'm smarter, stronger, brighter. And my business is blowing up. So anyway, we're hooked up. hooked up and I'm hooked up to this machine for about I don't know an hour or so hour and a half and then I have to do a, a 90 minute wait uh, kind of a flush anyway it's about three three and a half hours in this machine in this chair with this uh, particular treatment and then there'll be a waiting period and then I'll do the actual uh, treatment the healing serum treatment which is chemo and we're going we're, we're going to work here but the great news is the great news about today is that my light chain proteins came back lower than last time. We started out at about 16. Normal rate for a human being is between like 0.2 to 2.0. I started out, I was at 16. Uh, last month, I was at 7.35. And now, I'm at 6.10, which is fantastic. So we're steadily going the right direction. If we can get to a four, we can talk about a, a stem cell transplant and so the goal is getting the light chains down at a reasonable level and we want to just keep doing the healing serum until they plateau so right now we're still moving so I'm feeling very good very optimistic uh, and very excited so this is day one of the two-day treatment yet yeah, right now we're just doing the double blind study that's the, the uh, synthetic antibodies helping me kill the amyloids off of uh, my hearts my hearts both of my hearts my heart and my other organs, so uh, that's what we're doing. All right, good morning. Tuesday morning, November 14th, 2017. Walking over for day two. Day two. As you see, I'm alone. The sleeping angel didn't make it today. So uh, I'll be over here taking care of some, uh, getting my, my treatment and doing some work. And then we're out of here. All right.
All right, so Tuesday, November 14th, we are in the chair and uh, we are hooked up so I can feel the, the cold medicine going through my vein here uh, at my wrist going in throughout my body. It's just a wild feeling. The healing serum, the healing serum. I feel the cold healing serum going into my body and healing everything. So, so this is a very short treatment here today. I'm very blessed. So after the healing serum goes in, it's only like 10 minutes. They're gonna put in some flush, another two or three minutes. I am done. And uh, feeling the power. So just knocking this out today. And I'll be heading back to Vegas, go back to the hotel, get Jennifer, go back to Vegas. And it's been a great trip. So I've, I'm looking to, it looks like we got a, some information from uh, Mayo in, in Scottsdale. And I'll be following up today. It looks like, uh, hopefully, cross my fingers, I'll be heading over to Mayo next week in Scottsdale instead of coming to uh, Rochester so I can do my, my two following uh, treatments. So that would be fantastic. So uh, cautiously optimistic and excited about those possibilities. So anyway, thanks for, thanks for uh, all your thoughts and prayers and we're making progress. Hey, it's November 14th, 2017. It's about 12.30 and we're actually at the Minneapolis St. Paul Airport. Just getting back from treatment number 27. And we're excited. We are excited. Didn't you already get a haircut? Yep. What happened to that haircut? Uh, work in progress. Okay. Work in progress. <laughs> Fausto, he needs a little instruction. <laughs> That's a styling thing. Oh, got it, okay, got it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we're very, very excited because we got some really good news and Dan has been feeling great, and he obviously looks great. And, well, I mean, <laughs> aside from the hair, no, no, he obviously looks great, and everybody's been commenting on how how well he does look and how good he does look, and the numbers reflected that. So we're very, very excited. Why don't you talk about the numbers? Yeah. So one of the markers that's the, the big marker is he's called uh, lambda light chain proteins, and that's essentially the proteins that are uh, being developed or being excreted from the bone marrow and that cause. The, the issues, which is uh, causes the amyloidosis and creates the proteins that shut down my heart. So I started out at 16, normal rate, normal level is up to a two. Uh, I started out at 16, uh, we got down to a 10. Last month we were at 7.85 or 7.53 or something like that, but this month we're at 6.10. So, you know, not a huge drop, but we're trending in the right direction. And of course the goal, my holiday goal, uh, Christmas goal is to get down to a, a four-ish, and uh, I'm on my way. Yeah, yeah, you're on your way, and this is very exciting because then other things can take place, and we're waiting for some of that instruction. But the doctors know the t the trends. The doctors know where he's headed, and we're we're making plans for some other things. So right. So anyway, thank you for all your thoughts and prayers. Uh, I believe that they're helping. They truly are. So thank you for that, and uh, I am so grateful for that. And I'm feeling great. We know that this could not have happened without everyone chiming in, sending their support, and of course their prayers. And we know how powerful that is, so thank you. Thank you for your time and your thought and your love and your prayers. Thank you. So we're out of here from Minneapolis St. Paul. Here we are. Uh, getting ready to head back to Vegas, thank goodness. Yeah, I'm celebrating great news. Had great numbers yesterday. Everybody's happy. He looks good, he feels good, and um, we're so thankful for all your support, all your prayers. We couldn't be here without you. 